Now, I pulled you out before mm -hmm. because I saw some behavior that I did not like mm -hmm. uh, in terms of you trading contraband for pills. And I told you specifically, I did not want you doing that. Don't compromise this program. You got it. Carlos, you went against what I asked you not to do. We pulled you out early. Okay? Um. The reason that you're here early is that you start slipping again. Is What is this one? Is that right, sir? Two, 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 three, no. I was in la la la. I'm not gonna lie, I did take one. And you have admitted taking the pill. Yeah, I did. I did take one pill to go to sleep. It was hard to sleep. That That's the problem. It was, yeah. And I slipped, and I admit that I slipped. You did. And that slip could have cost you your life. Yes, sir. Because you don't know what that pill was. You went by what they told you it was. Mm -hmm. And now... The, hold on. All right. We could have put charges on you, quite frankly. Um. So that's why you're here early, to make sure we can save you from yourself. Does that make sense? Yes, sir, it does. I thought I got pulled out because it was time. I didn't know he pulled me out because I was reverting back to my inmate ways. That caught me by surprise. I want to take a dive back in into our original purpose for being here. Mm -hmm. And so the colonel and I want to hear what you have seen and experienced inside of our facility. I'm going to be honest with you, with both of you. I've been to a lot of prisons. This jail is the worst jail that I've seen or I've ever stepped into, hands down. These are the items that I found in your jail. The mask that you guys provide it comes with a metal bar right here. This is a part of the mask right here. In New York, we call this a blicky, which you can take it, sharpen it, and cut somebody right here from mouth to ear. This one I found last week. The downstairs bathroom, they got little chairs that you can pull out, and the shower hits them. This is the handle to it. I broke it off. There goes another shank for you. I mean, it definitely can be a weapon, and uh, I appreciate you bringing it to our attention. OK. In the pod that I was in, I happened to find quite a few weapons that I got rid of myself. The dude broke a broomstick and sharpened it up. He said he was going to use it on me. Why would he want to use it on you? Because I was enforcing it to give it to me. Took it away from him, took it to my room, broke it, threw it in the garbage. Why, usually inmates, in my, my opinion, they typically make shanks or weapons to protect themselves. And you said that guy was gonna use it against you. That's, that disturbs me. I didn't want you involved in that. We wanted you to be a uh, part of the solution, not the problem. I apologize for stepping over that line and putting myself in that situation, but I was just thinking survival mode kicked in to protect whatever inmates was gonna get hurt. So I apologize for that. Shout Don't I always stick my tongue out when I laugh? <laughs> I you always back up and stop shouting. Thank I you. I always think I'm going to shout out. Yeah, you are shouting and step away from me, okay? I face all of my hair yellow. Wake up, start over. That's what you need to do. No, I don't need to, <laughs> you need to step away from me. It's kind of calm for the first time in the pod, and then all of a sudden, they get mad at each other for of the smallest things. Since you stopped talking to me, I only talked to you for one. Yeah, but you were all up in my face, Bree. Yasmir is just getting agitated with Brianna because she's constantly talking. I mean, she's more boisterous, so she's an easy target. Yes, you have problems. Well, everybody in the pod does not like you and has a problem with you, Bree. That's good. You don't care, so keep acting the way you act. That's why you can barely get money on your books, broke ass home. At least I got a family that you care. At least I got that. Family that actually cares. Yeah, my family actually does care.
Damn. It started between Yasmin and Bree, and we ended up separating Selena and Bree. It, 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 it just didn't make any sense to me. I, I can't believe that situation escalated that bad. It, it saddened me. Hey, bro, why you just punch him, bro? I'm playing cards, and I hear Dallas yell that Thump is smack to Sean. Don't shit me messing with Deshaun. Deshaun's the youngest person in the dorm. The Nick was yelling at him, just saying, you know, you shouldn't be messing with Deshaun. I smacked him in his face. If you want to hit somebody, he should hit me. You know, his somebody's going to fight back. Thump decided that he was going to fight Nick versus fight me. That with Thump was just a little stick up for little bro because we're the same age. Because he's 18, you feel like you could pick on him, but I've called you a bitch in your face so many times, you ain't done to me. I cannot believe I freaking made it. What a dream come true. When my name was called, it was a total shock. <laughs> Relieved in a sense. Yeah. Very excited. When my name got called, I was thinking like, oh my God, like I'm about to walk out these doors. The pod was happy to see me go, and that was pretty cool. Like, I guess, you know, some people really liked me while I was locked up, and I was surprised at that too. I mean, I didn't know I had that many friends. I had already prepared to get my canteen away to the people who rarely went to the store. So I made sure I called Deshaun in my room and I gave my roommate some stuff as well. Darius is my brother from another mother. So I'm just a little, just a little sad, just a little sad. I'm 
pretty sure Deshaun was definitely sad to see me go. But Deshaun will always be in my life as long as he wants to be. He has my number, and I want to be his counselor as long as he's willing to let me. Oh, wonderful now. <laughs> so good right now. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. <sighs> Last few days, especially today, was kind of tough. Thinking about my baby a lot. You know, seeing him smile for the first time on the kiosk. He had a nice little smile on him and talking to my girl. She needs me out there. Definitely glad to be gone. I don't feel like I'm in jail. I feel like I'm in an insane asylum. The groundbreaking experiment returns for the first time ever with seven former inmates.